Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. Hello everybody, this is Bryce with Peace in the Valley, and I hope you're having a great day. I am. We just got in something uh, that I've been waiting for for several months, for a couple of months. Uh, we got in the Piranha Tooth Bar for the RK45. We're going to install that today. Hopefully it works well. We're going to unbox it here in just a second. So I hope you enjoy watching this. Follow me. Okay, so here's the box that we got. It came in today by FedEx. And I, the staples did not really hold. You can see in here it's kind of damaged. Uh, I mean the product's not damaged, the box is. That piranha bar weighs 45 pounds, it said. So that's pretty, pretty heavy. Instructions. Do we really need instructions? Yeah, we probably do. Okay, so this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Taking it out of the box. I have to say, you probably need about two people to do this. I can't imagine on a bigger tractor doing it alone. So, here it is. You can see that. We ordered this at the end of May, and it just came in. I think it said it shipped from Knoxville. Okay. And these are sharp. That's half inch steel. If you see it raining, it's because it is raining. I'm trying to film this in between storms. This July has been a very wet July. Oh, I can hear the rain coming. We may have to postpone and... Come back. It's not going to rain long. Just another sprinkle. Seems like we've been getting an inch, half an inch to an inch almost every day. Okay. I think we need to get a crescent wrench. If that sounds familiar on anybody else's channel. Yep. Okay. Now, how close was the fit? Well, I got a sixteenth, maybe a little less there. Maybe slightly more over here. Boy, I don't know if you could have got it much closer than that. Uh, with the welds, I really don't think you could have. You see those? They are sharp. Why is it that we always want to touch sharp things all the time? Tap this on. I chose an old log because I'm not going to hurt anything that way. Okay. Yep, looks like it's all fitting on well. And ours happens to go right where the strength piece is put at, the ridge for the extra strength. So we're going to mark that on the inside and then we're gonna drill it. Now, it, they said that we wanna go back an eighth of an inch on the drill, just to account for wear on the front. So, we will do that. There's plenty of room on the, on the slide this way, so I think you 
specifically go back a little bit because as this wears this will move back okay okay we're supposed to mark the inside said use a couple of clamps okay trying to mark that Mark that. Let's take this off now. Okay. We've got that marked. Just remark those again. See if we're still good. I think we are. So, it says to take the stickers, of course there's two of them, oh look at that, it's raining again, and move them back an eighth of an inch. Okay, and we're going to do that on both sides. Is it raining where you guys are at too? I'm not complaining. The garden is growing fantastic, if you can see that over there. Even with us being a little late. Okay. Go back about an eighth of an inch. Lengthwise, I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's try the same thing over here. And I suppose if it doesn't work out, I'll just do it again. Prefer to do it right the first time, but I do have, I do have this problem where sometimes I make, where I think I need to make the tolerances too tight and then I end up having to recut it. Okay. Recut or redrill or something. I've got an upcoming project right in the center. And I'm just gonna use a screw, Phillips head screw. Yeah. I do that for a lot heavier iron than this, so I think I think this is fine. Okay. Okay.
Okay, now we're going to use a three-quarter step bit. We're going to use a step bit that goes up to three-quarter and drill all the way through. What do you say? I say it's okay. The test will be later. Find out here in a minute. We did okay. Nothing like getting hot shavings on your arms. Okay. I think we hit the target. I hope we hit the target. Okay, let's put it on. Now that it is wet out, because or wet on that, it's sharp and slippery. That's interesting. Real interesting. Our hole, because it's on the curve, the bolt's not quite long enough. But on that ridge, to strengthen that. You know what? I think it's gonna work anyway. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab Okay, let's find out what we can do with the impact wrench. I use this DeWalt impact wrench all the time. Well, maybe not literally all the time, but most days of the week. I've got it out for something. Now we're going to tighten it up on both sides before we're going to tighten it up on both sides uh, just before and then we'll put on the impact wrench.
I don't think we're going to get all the washers on. <clears throat> I know they're going to want us to, but that's not going to happen. Unless we switch to a, a larger bolt. Right now, as you can see, we don't have a lot coming out. I may just have to buy a longer one in order to get these the lock washer on. Tighten up this one a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to do some review on this to see if I need to or if I can just get away with putting the lock washers on. But if I've got to have both, I am definitely going to have to get some longer bolts. So if you have an RK25, you're going to need longer bolts. Okay, you can see right here that I just don't have enough room. So the whole bolt is on, but I definitely still have these to put on yet, okay? I'll look it over. So anyhow, if you have the RK25 tractor, I wanna warn you about putting on the bar I don't think there's a problem. It's just the bolt that's included is not long enough. So you're probably gonna have to get a longer one or maybe you could figure out how to flatten that area, which probably wouldn't be that difficult. Maybe that's what I'll do, is flatten this ridge right over here that is on the bucket. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to respond to them. So far this piranha bar looks good. It would have been nice to be able to use it down in Kentucky when we were excavating because I think it would have really came in handy, but we'll put it to good use. Please give me a uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you back later. Take care. Hello everybody. How are you doing? This is Bryce from West Bend, 